Hi, it's Kada. Over the weekend for Mother's Day, I went to my very first toy show ever. And my expectations were all over the place. So I wanted to share my experience with you, for those of you who may have never been to a toy show either, to kind of know what uh, my experience was and um, to maybe give you the confidence to also go. Because I, to be honest, I was a little intimidated. Like I said, wasn't sure what to expect. So it was, um, it was an adventure. And let me tell you, now I want to go to more. I did come away with a few great dolls. Actually, regret not buying more. <laughs> That's a whole nother video. <laughs> but to start things off, let me show you one that I got. This is the, not sure what year, Bewitched Barbie. Look at that pretty face. Look at that cute retro hair. She did come with her box. It's really cute because the way she was displayed inside the box, she's flying on her broom. And then the back has, is it Elizabeth McGovern? Is that the actress? And look at the cute little illustration. Um, but I just think the doll is so pretty. And there's actually another collector Barbie that has the vintage face, which I absolutely love. That's my favorite face mold of Barbie. And I would like to get that one someday. But this one, also adorable and I was so delighted to find it there at the toy show. So this toy show I would say was probably maybe a smallish to medium sized toy show in my city and they have them I think twice a year but this was my first time attending and I wasn't sure what kind of toy show is this going to be? Is it going to be all like new toys? Is it going to be all like old toys like private sellers and booths um, or is it going to be a mixture of both? Um, were they even going to have any Barbies or other dolls or was it going to be like nothing but trains and Hot Wheels? <laughs> it turns out the answer is yes to all that. They had dolls, they had trains, they had Hot Wheels, they had trucks, they had lunch boxes, they had plushies. Do uh, you name it, they had it. They had books, they had artwork. Um, it was so cool. I would have taken more pictures and even video of the show, but I didn't want to be that guy and be like filming people, you know, who might have been kind of uncomfortable with it. But yeah, I was delighted to see that there were plenty of Barbie booths. And that actually was really surprising and refreshing that they had so many Barbie booths and Barbie sellers running the gamut from old vintage Barbies to newer Barbies and everything in between. And why that was so cool is because in my city, there are toy stores, there are antique stores, there are thrift stores. But there's really nowhere that I can go that just exclusively sells dolls. But the toy show, they had places that were exclusively dolls. I mean, dolls that I've only seen on eBay. And that's always where I've ended up buying like practically my entire collection is online because there's no place locally that I can just regularly browse around in, which is probably a good thing. <laughs> Can you imagine? Of course I just ended up buying them on eBay anyway and that's so much more expensive because then I'm paying for shipping. And that's another great thing about doll booths at toy shows because then the prices are pretty good and then I'm not paying shipping and I'm usually not paying tax. They take Venmo right there so I don't have to come up with a bunch of cash. The prices were really good. Like you know, not like thrift store prices, obviously, but cheaper than eBay. And then I'm not paying shipping. So yeah, I was still kind of like, whoa, this is a lot of money. Um, you know, I should sort of limit myself. But after I left, I was thinking, when am I gonna find these dolls again locally and not pay eBay prices and not pay shipping? So then I had major regret for not buying more. Yeah but I think there's gonna be another one this fall. So highly recommend toy shows for dolls. Another thing about the prices is that 
it's expected that you're gonna haggle and I don't like to haggle. I feel so awkward about it. I'm no good at it. I haggled for one thing and that was only because it didn't have a price tag on it. But otherwise, if something had a price tag on it, I was just like, here, take my money. And you could even see the surprise in some of the sellers faces like, oh, you're not gonna battle me for this price? Which is funny because I'm pretty sure that they actually price accordingly like they probably price higher expecting that people are going to haggle and they're they may need to compromise with a lower price but i was just like here i just the price is what it is just take my money oh uh 20 shekels right what they were wait a minute oh well we're, we're supposed to haggle but still um, I felt really awkward for haggling for that one thing, but I'm glad that I did because I want to show you what that is. Okay, here's the one thing that I haggled over, barely haggled, like I could have walked away. This fashion doll case, and when I first saw it, I was like, oh, that's a cute case. This was actually the first booth that I went to that had any Barbie stuff at all, and this was like it. And um, so I didn't know if there was going to be more Barbie booths. Like, I had no idea. I, this was just the first thing that I saw, like, two minutes after I walked in. And I was like, oh, that's a Barbie thing. So here's the case. Let's see what's inside the case. Uh, here we have a Barbie, an Allen, a Skipper, and a ton of clothes. They are all pretty beat up, and the case is pretty beat up too, and the clothes are a mess, but they are all vintage. I looked at them all. The majority of them are skipper clothes. I will show you the content of everything here in a minute, but I got this whole thing for $10, and that is because he did not have a price tag on it. Then I was like, I don't really want this stuff. Why do we buy things we don't want? But again, this was the first booth that I went to and I wasn't sure if there was going to be anything else Barbie and I wanted to come away with something. So I was like, all right, I'm, this is what I'm going to come home with if there's nothing else. So I offered him 10 and he's like, what about 15 with the case? And I was like, nah, no, I, I don't want it that bad. <laughs> he's like, okay, 10. <laughs> So yeah, so I got all of that for $10. So then as I was walking around and talking to people, and I was with my mom, you know, it was Mother's Day, and she really likes to talk to people. So she got all the skinny about where everything was. And people were like, oh, well, if you want Barbie things, you need to go over there and talk to that lady. So I was like, oh, okay, so there is Barbie stuff here. So then when we went over there, there were like two booths, big ones together, and they had such great Barbie stuff. One lady had all vintage Barbies, vintage, and th like a lot, like hundreds, and clothes, like a vintage Barbie collector's dream come true. And then the lady next to her had various years of dolls. The, the lady next to her is where I got my bewitched Barbie, but the vintage seller is where I got this. So she did say this is a reproduction, but I still can't figure out who this is. It kind of looks like a swirl, but all the repro swirls that I've looked up have blue eyes and she has brown eyes. So I suspect that she's been repainted but if so, they did an amazing job. And that's another thing is the Swirl Barbies usually have like a deeper bang and she doesn't. If you know who this is, like what reproduction doll this is, please let me know. Um, and do you think she's been repainted with the brown eyes? That was my favorite part of the toy show is talking to Barbie people and hearing their stories and their backgrounds. You know, I was featured in the newspaper last summer for my Barbie collection, and I knew when they were interviewing me about my sort of small newbie Barbie collection that there were going to be people in my area 
that have way more impressive collections. But I am pretty sure that I met those people at the toy show and I was in heaven. And again, when I left, I was bummed that I didn't buy more things, but I had the business card for one of them and texted her. Um, <laughs> I was like, do you still have this one? Do you still have that one? So I'm waiting for her to get back to me to let me know if a couple of them that I was eyeing are still available. So um, the connections, the networking was really valuable. I don't really have anybody locally that I can talk Barbies with or play Barbies with. Aww. It's just me and you guys. The doll fans that I connect with on YouTube, I'm so grateful for because that's really the only socializing that I get regarding my doll collection. And I find such comfort in being able to share that with you. And I'm so glad that you're along with me and that you're my partner and my friend in doll collecting. So thank you so much for being here is basically what I'm saying. So I know you're like, but Kaden, now that you've met these people, maybe they could be your doll friends. Maybe? We'll see what happens. Oh, and I also did buy this for my husband. Pac-Man lunchbox! <laughs> also, as a first time toy show newbie, one thing that I was kind of initially worried about was, are there gonna be really like pushy, aggressive people, you know, fighting for like the best toys and the best deals? You know, like I'm envisioning like a Black Friday thing at 5 a.m. at Target, you know what I mean? And I really didn't want to be in that sort of environment. So I was kind of concerned that that might be what this was like. And in my experience, I did not witness that at all. Everybody was really lax. Everybody was really cool. I will say that there is an early bird, like arrival. You pay a little bit more an hour early to be able to get first dibs on everything. And I figure that that's probably where all the like elbowing might come in. But I had no interest in attending the early bird. Whatever was going to be there was going to be just fine with me. So mom and I just casually arrived when we arrived. We got there at probably 1030. And like I said, it was it was pretty mellow. There was a lot of people there. It was packed, but totally easygoing. So if you're intimidated by that like I was, Again, that wasn't my experience, and I will definitely go to more toy shows.
So thanks for coming along with me today as I shared my experience at my first toy show attendance ever. And hopefully it encourages you to maybe seek out toy shows in your area and to be able to get some great deals and to connect with people who have the same interests that you do. That's really fun. So again, thanks so much for being my friend. And if you haven't already, please subscribe and I'll see you next time. Bye. What? Put it. The way that she was displayed in the box, she was, will you stop that? Stop it. Go on now, go. <laughs> oh, I was gonna say about the pushy people thing. Ah, oh, who cares? Ghosts. <laughs> All right, I'll give you 19 then. No, 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 come on, do it properly. What? Haggle properly, this isn't worth 19. You just said it was worth 20. Oh dear, oh dear.